bathroom to the terrible lighting in my washroom. I don't know, I just have a few hours to spare. And I bought L'Oreal Paris Colorista in Blue 60 a few months ago for a video that I ended up being like, mm, I don't really want to make this video. So it's just been sitting in my cabinet just staring at me, so I decided to come on up and in my hair. I don't know anything about it. I haven't read any reviews on it. I just picked it up one day. I've been quite a few different colors in my lifetime um, but i've had it black for a while and you can't really do anything with black hair which i really i enjoy it it's my favorite color i've ever been i think it suits me but yeah i can't do anything with it so when i saw this which is for dark hair i was like sick it'll actually show up and i haven't been blue before so why not give it a go colorista hair makeup for brunettes with black hair it's one day color so i can just wash it right out if i look at the color thing i'll put it up here it pops up the most it looks like on black hair so awesome Results in less needs will depend on the color and condition of the hair. Color may last longer on bleached, porous, or damaged hair. My hair is not damaged, sick. Color may have a different feel until colorista hair makeup is washed out. I assume it's gonna feel a bit straw-like or like crunchy. It's not hair dye, it's makeup for your hair. Gentle leave-in formula for one day color that washes out with shampoo. No gloves required, it doesn't transfer. I'm a little bit worried if it's gonna transfer onto my nails. I have fake nails right now, which is like very rare. I also, please don't judge me, I snapped off one of them and it looks like pretty dumb. It's transfer resistant, once dry, transfer resistant technology. I love it when they try and make it sound way cooler. Transfer resistant technology minimizes transfer. Oh yeah, let me change. Okay, sick, awesome. With your fingertips, apply a dime size amount onto a thin, dry strand of hair. No gloves are needed. Brush and comb hair to distribute colorista to hair makeup. Air dry or blow dry, style as desired. Hmm. Okay, what do I want to do? Is there water in this? Could I straighten my hair first and then do this or would it ruin it? Aqua, awesome. I will leave it as normal. What? Okay, so my nails are about to be like fucked up, but like for sure. It's fine because one's already broken, but She's saying it's super pink. She has gloves. Like apparently this is just lion. So I will use my dish gloves, which aren't the proper gloves to use, but I don't have any regular rubber gloves. So, or latex gloves or anything like that. So uh, I think I'm probably gonna do my basic everyday hairstyle, which is like half up. Something along these lines. <sighs> okay, so we've got the tube. Yeah, it just says to start at the bottom and work your way up. I really haven't sectioned like whatsoever. <laughs> Ooh, it's like metallic-y. Mm. Oh, it would be so much easier if I was having my actual fingers. Okay, well, let's just apply it and blending up, I guess. Bro, I was Canada today. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> I wonder what, what this would look like if I did it on my entire head. That would be interesting. Yeah, that's all right. It's kind of cool. Okay, so I have distributed it throughout my hair and I think it's dried. I don't feel it wet anywhere. It's showing up fairly well under this harsh yellow light. Um, it definitely doesn't look like I took the time and effort and money to, you know, go to a salon or do this at home and like bleach the ends and put blue on, but it certainly is showing up more than I expected it to. I'm not going to anything wild where like, I really want this to look amazing. Like this is just a fun thing I quickly did. I'll just say um, that I do recommend not just using your fingers because the stuff it dries a little bit thick if you don't break it up with a brush. But so far, it's not tra it's not transferring. Like it's not getting anywhere once it's dry. Uh, it certainly is drier. Like my hair is quite dry. I'm sure it's not damaged. It's just not feeling amazing. Let's see if I can combat that a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil into my hair. Is it transferring when I do this? No, I'm fine. It's 
Smell is also not an issue if you're sensitive to scented products. I don't know, it smells a bit chalky, that's, that's all. All right, so let's take us out to the humans to see what it looks like in natural light. Okay, go out onto my balcony. So it's actually showing up pretty great, like pretty strongly. I have layers and layers of box dye on this. If I tried to bleach it, it would be so expensive and I would actually just destroy my hair. So does it look great? Does it look like amazing like it came from the salon? No, I also don't have the skills to make it look like that. For what it costed and for my skill level and the fact that it's on black hair, yeah, looks great. I will pick this video up when it's time to wash out. I'll tell you about the transfer, if there is any on the clothes I plan to wear, how easy it is to take out, and if it has, if any, effect on my hair. Three days later. Hello, it is I here from the future to give the follow-up review on this product. On Canada Day evening, I noticed one thing. As soon as the sun went down, you could not see the product in my hair. So that is one key aspect of this product. If you are not going somewhere where there's gonna be direct light on you or direct sunlight on you, I would say it's not worth putting in your hair just because it's not pigmented enough against a dark base that it's going to show up on its own. I actually have a picture of me from that night. I'm not actually crying in this photo, I'm fake crying because I missed the fireworks, oh my god, but don't worry, I was okay. I have Reese's cups on my hands, so you know, I was all good. But you can see the ends of my hair and there's like basically no blue showing up in this. Besides that, Canada evening, I didn't actually shower that evening, I showered the day afterwards. And that's important to note because I have all white bedding. It was quite uh, spooky for me to wake up in the morning and be like, I bet you when I open my eyes there's gonna be blue all around me on my nice white pillowcases. No, it didn't, it didn't transfer anywhere, which was so nice. I was very stressed about that. And then I went in the shower, I have no blow in my hair whatsoever anymore. And yeah, altogether, pretty great product for what it is and the price. And I hope that this video and review helped you in some way with your future purchases. If you have your own opinion on this product or some tips or tricks for applying it or wearing it, please leave them in the comments or feel free to hit me up on my Instagram. It's at Vivian Vite. If you like this video or you like any of my other really random miscellaneous videos, please subscribe or like, and I will see you in the next movie commentary that I have coming up in two weeks. All right, guys. See ya.